Hey guys, this is Wildfire, starting out this playthrough for Folktale. Uh, actually, I think it's in its alpha right now. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because I got it on Steam Early Access, 20 bucks. You start, you know, that's a new thing nowadays. Pay 20 bucks or whatever the price is, you get the alpha, plus all the patches all the way up to the final release. That sort of thing. Now, at the moment, um, they just have a campaign, like a short campaign that's supposed to be designed as a tutorial as well. When the final game comes out, they'll have a much longer, more official campaign, as well as a giant sandbox mode. It was asked if the community wanted multiplayer. The community voted, and the first thing they said they wanted was sandbox. The second thing they said it was campaign, and multiplayer was actually way behind on votes over those two things. So this game will not be designed for multiplayer, but they are going to implement ability to basically share like your stuff and pictures and screenshots and statistics and stuff, like leaderboards of sorts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what's going on. The music hasn't stopped. There it goes. For months, your people have struggled through swamps and forests, across deserts and frozen wastes, battling storms and high seas that threatened to dash them against the rocks. They came to escape from the tyranny of the evil Lord Black Dark, whose rogue financiers had crushed the population to little more than indentured slaves. Well, that's not nice. Fleeing a land where toast is rationed to only the select few and uh, the good people eat only stale bread, your brave subjects have fought and suffered before arriving on the shores of this remote island. It is here they hope to find peace and tranquility, where they can farm and build a new... Oh, look, there's Bernard. Hello. Where was I? Oh yes, to a land where your people can build a new society, where freedom and toast are available to everyone. And it is up to you, our steely-eyed leader, to build a brighter future for your brave pioneers. Because let's face it, the villagers aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. This is the world of Folktale. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to our new village. Thank you. Let's practice moving around. Yeah, moving shall we? Moving the mouse to the edge of the screen will move you in that direction. Ah, I'd rather use WSD. You can use the W, A, yeah. S, and D keys. That's more like it. Or the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can point the camera by holding down the right mouse button and dragging the mouse left or right, up and down. Finally, you can adjust the camera height by scrolling the mouse scroll wheel, or using the Z and X keys on your keyboard. To test your navigation skills, I've highlighted a location on the map. Go there now to continue our lesson. Basic. Set to work building a windmill and planting wheat fields that can be harvested and milled into flour. Click on the notice board near the empty plot of land and select the windmill from the construction options. Oh, look at that. Superb! Our villagers will set to work hammering and sawing. In the meantime, why not place one or more wheat fields next to the windmill? The closer resources are to buildings, the less time villagers will spend transporting goods and the more productive they can be. Wow, the day and night cycle's not very long. It's already getting dark out. New building options are available. Awfully dedicated though, working all through the night. Build a wheat field. Come on, guys. New building options are available. Our windmill is ready. Train a farmer by selecting a free villager and right-clicking on the windmill. Okay, I don't know who you guys are. Uh, Oscari the, the Bruise? Male peasant? Alright. You. Uh, Sim 1 Peasant for Training, uh -huh. yes. That Wait. was fast. You just trained your first specialist. <laughs> the farmer will tend to the fields, planting seeds and harvesting wheat, before delivering it to the windmill to be milled into flour. 
Your villagers will then be able to buy flour from the storehouse to make bread, generating more income for us. Hmm, I like you income. You build a woodcutter's lodge close to the woods and train one of our folk to be a woodcutter. Um, to build wood close to the woods. I guess there's a tree there and a tree there. I don't actually see woods. Per se. Suppose I could build it here. Chop, chop. Yes, my dear. Ooh. You can call me your liege. Train peasants as woodcutters to cut lumber to be sawed into planks. Farming work to be done. Chop chop. Get all the woodcutters hut. I really like the interface. Um, I mean, I have the graphics on high. I don't have them on ultra. New building options are available. And it's oh, overall yeah. very now beautiful. One of our folks and send them to the woodcutters lodge for training. The the detail, given how far out I can zoom. Also, given how close in I can zoom is impressive. There's no noticeable lag uh, at all. Wait. What is this? What? Lumber's way freaking over here, and I built the woodcutter shop, like, way over there? I should have built it, like, here. I didn't realize this was the lumber way over here. No, can I, like, sell this, or... Man, that's... Okay, well... Really? Trying to woodcutter capture a logging camp. So Yo, I gotta something. take this dude over there. Or? Oh, uh, it must be left click. All right, so what's up, Slick? Wesley the Bruise. Why don't you head over that way? Yes, I realize it's a freaking long way away from the woodshop, but. I didn't realize that it was way over here and that I had a building plot right here. So I apologize, Wesley the Bruise. I don't know what all these options are for yet. Love a man with a big chopper. <laughs> Love a man with a big chopper, huh? It's, it's not gay at all. Resource secure. Our woodcutter will chop down trees and saw logs into planks that can be used to construct other buildings. We'll also need more iron bars and stone. Build an iron smelt near the iron mine and train a miner. This is a stone quarry, and this is probably iron right here. Iron mine. So I'm gonna build a smelter, um, Boy, you measurably be closer to the mine, unlike I did to the lumber camp. And in the meantime, um, let's see you. Oh that's, oh, that's the advisor. He's actually a real person. Okay. Um. You're the farmer. Anybody over here I can snag? Because nope, I don't really have that many people. Is there statistics somewhere that show me how many people I have? Money, wood, stone, iron, wheat, eggs, something else, and something else. Uh, I'm going to take it that these are the only ones I have at the moment. You. What are you... What are you doing way... Howdy. Way over here. Which 
just must be gathering New wood. Options are available. Well, that's convenient. Train a miner. Hmm. You, tricky beaver hoss. Uh, you should be a, a miner, I think. Okay. Okay. Makes me think of Warcraft. Excellent. Before oh, you, you gotta be shirtless to, to be a miner. We need obviously. to clear out the rat infestation near the mine and hoist our faction flag to state our claim. Oh, Select look at that. one or more Cobalt. villagers and right-click on one of the rats near the iron mine. One or more villagers. Hey, you too. What now? My pleasure. Huh? Right away. Let's do this. Prepare to die! You villagers have arrived. Ooh, experience gain. Nice. Oh, well done. Now move some of our villagers close to the faction flag. Superb. Now build a stone cutter's lodge near the stone quarry and train one of our villagers to be a stone cutter. Okay. Heading there now. Okay. I like sparkling, and I don't know how to collect it. Or oh, there we go. I got double click, that's why. Excellent, okay, that's cool. Alright, let's find the stone. Here we go. Stone Cutter's Lodge. Oh, there's more people down here. Oh, he did just say a moment ago that more, more villagers had arrived. That's right. Oh, crap. Alright, looks like we're low on time. I will.